Harry right, Mush, Harry right, lovers, how's it going? Harbour Pants here, got another videos for you, don't I? Um, uh, this one's about STDs, you know, by the way, if you were low with this video, hoping to get some sort of advice, and not brush or something like that, you really well, well, look, it's not that kind of STDs. My advice, go get some medical help or something like that. Uh, now, this is a STD small tank destroyers, isn't it? So, starting off with um, Tier 3 uh, French Premium Tank Destroyer. Um, and uh, then moving on to Etzer, isn't it? They're like Tier 4 German Tank Destroyer, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, so I don't normally play as the old uh, tank destroyers, as you know. Um, I mean, if you want really good tank destroyer players, you got like uh, Black Rose, Noob for Life, you know, and 101 Clan. Uh, Flappy Bird, they uh, they play tank destroyers uh, much better than me. But anyways, just got some basics here if you don't know. Now, first thing about this thing is, I think it's a total piece of shit. So yeah, that's my honest opinion about it. I mean, they were kind of looking for this as like a premium tank you want you to buy in that, and it's actually a piece of junk. And I mean, it's got really slow reload. It's slow. I mean, like it's got no armor. So yeah, so it's you know requires a lot of. Uh, requires a lot of um, sort of thinking in order to play it properly, doesn't it? So, you know, much like uh, much like the imp in Game of Thrones. I mean, you're small and you don't got uh, too much else going for you. You've got to use your range, isn't you? So you'll see what I do is here now. I mean, I've been up tiered as well. Just a total load of bollocks. Isn't it? I mean, like, no, you're in a piece of junk like this and you go up tiered. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do is here. This is like typical tank destroyer play. I'm just going to support the team. I'm gonna like play at the back because I can't get into any. I mean, I've got 300 hitch points, right? So there's a DW2 in the other team, right? So if he goes up against me, right, uh, he's gonna kill me like probably definitely three shots. But if he gets lucky with some HE, maybe even two shots. So yeah, so I, I'm really fucked tonight. So actually, even my armor person only can be giving me two shots. Yeah, I'm 300 hit points. You can do 170, 180 alpha. Yeah, so there you go. So in other words, stay away from trouble, isn't it? So. See how fucking slow this thing is here, I mean, like, I mean, it makes Rain Man look like fucking Albert Einstein, doesn't it? So, anyways, um, yeah, so here he goes here now, um, I'm fucking taking ages to get into position here, right, you know, I've got really long reload, I mean, I think this reload is, like, horrendous for a tier 3, isn't it? And, I mean, you know, it doesn't even do that much alpha damage, I mean, like, you'll see here, popping in there, you know, you're doing, like, an average about 150 alpha, something like that, you know? Which is, you know, uh, right, but with the reload like that, the DPM is not great, is it? I mean, you know. There you go. I mean, the shell velocity is fucking awful, too. I mean, you could see that shell flying through the air there. Couldn't you? I mean, like, its muzzle velocity is fucking horrendous, isn't it, for such a big gun? Anyway, so I'm just uh, throwing the support team here, you know, doing what I can. It was a nice alpha roll there, 183. Uh, but, you know, I'm not getting involved. Um, I'm not getting in the front line. I mean, we're supporting the rest of the team, right? Uh, trying to farm some damage for them, you know, trying to use the gun as best I can. Um, the, t the rest of the team are lighting up the targets for me, which does help. Um, this is a fairly even game, by the way. Uh, both teams are are pretty much farming damage on each side. I'd love to get rid of that DW2 because he's the main danger in that team. Um, I'm trying to. You can see here as well, like the. You know, when I'm trying to get rid of this T46, but he's just too fast for me, right? So, the reload time, this is horrendous, so I'm not reloaded fast enough for him. And then, he, there you go, somebody else took him out, though. So now it's 3-3, but that D22 is causing all sorts of trouble. So I've been in support role, but now, if you want to win this game, i got to move tonight. Is that DW2, we're 2-3 uh, down now. And he's gonna, he, I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna wreck that, uh, that GE. -he. So I got really move. I got to take him out if I can. And there you go, myself rolled there at him. Um, now it's two two, um, and uh, the G he's taking out the uh, and the tank killer there. So now we've got to roll down there and see what he can do. Um, he's a good player, that guy. I think actually at the end, let's see. I think he took out all the tanks between us, but uh, he's a good player. Um, so now we've got like this cruiser two left, and I think the G he's gonna put one into him. I think. Um, and then I think we just finish him off. Right? Yeah, so, so as you can see there, um, what I did in the game was, you know, you just gotta stay back, don't you? I mean, you're like a dwarf in a cage fight. I mean, you just gotta stay back and hope somebody else does most of the damage. But then at the end, like, you know, you gotta use your brain too. You gotta move, don't you, when you have to. Um, so I just came from the air to support the team there. So you can see there what I did. Um, 
yeah, gave him a gave him a chi heater, gave him thumbs up because he's a great player. We did really well between us. We took care of all the tanks. So what I was doing there is just that typical um, tank destroyer, just uh, playing it, especially when you got no armor and you're not mono and you're not mobile. Just uh, try to stay in the back there and uh, see what you can do. You know, sort of support and help the team there. You know. So uh, you know, it's just like the imp. Uh, you're sort of like you know a spar role, isn't it? You're not going to be going out there fighting the hound and all them, you know, because that just be mentally ended up brain damage, or in a box, when you're. Uh, so anyway, now the Hetzer, right? Now the Hetzer is different, right? The Hetzer is very mobile, right? Um, it's quite fast, right? It's got great, great traverse speed. Um, so you can play the Hetzer just like I played the, the little French fucker there in the last one, or you can be a bit more aggressive in the Hetzer. Which is what he actually decides to do here, so doesn't I? I actually, in the, you'll see in this game, um, because you try to I, I use its armor and its mobility, because it has great armor. I mean, um, it's especially in the upper glaces. Actually, a lot of things can't pen it, right? So if you go hull down on it, you know, a lot of things can't pen it. It's got great through range and that. But unlike uh, the previous uh, French tank killer that we played. Um, which really kind of only has one role it can do effectively. This can also you can also push forward at this and be sort of a bit invincible in that, can't you? So which is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do here, you'll see. So we decide to go left on this map, and um, which is often what I do is when I'm in a medium or light tank. But um, I just looking at the reds this area. I said maybe we should go left anyway because I think that's where they're going to come from. And if I go if I go right on my own, I'm going to get isolated, aren't I? So. If you isolate, it doesn't really matter whether you're a good player, a bad player, or a moderate player like yourself. You're just going to get mullered, aren't you? Right? Because there's not much you can do, especially if you're a tank killer. Because uh, I mean, it's it's you know you've got no turret this year, far less mobile. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, let's go. Now I decided here what I was going to think about doing was taking up position in the left-hand corner. You know, trying to fire some damage. But then as I see how the reds are going and that, you know, when I see that things are going a bit um, pear-shaped, they're coming on full on, so it looks like they might flank us. Um, and come around on our right hand side there, left, and hook around um, behind us. Um, I decided to be a bit more aggressive tonight. Um, and you can do that uh, in the answer because uh, it's, it is mobile. You can see here, like it's fast, like you know, we're doing 42 44 kilometers an hour over rough terrain. So, you know, it is fast and it's mobile, and you can use that to your advantage. Um, so I was just going to go uh, here and see, uh, I was originally going to go behind that uh, rock and put the soft cover see if I can do some damage. Then I was going to go up in the hill here. But you'll see I changed my mind when I see them coming, because they're coming through sort of the industrial complex there. So if they come in there and they come around behind us, they're going to be really fucked, aren't we? I mean, yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to be really fucked like a male model in a maximum security prison army. So, yeah, so there we go. So you can see there, I'm just being aggressive. I'm pushing on into them because I know if he comes around here, I'm going to bounce the shots off him anyway. Um, you know, and uh, that's it's got a much faster reload than the than the, the little French tank we were looking at there, right? Um, and there we go. So like the two rounds I put into him, I was able to take us out. Now I'm going to be really aggressive again. I mean, like you know, I'm going to be like a pit bull on steroids here. I'm just going to go straight into them here, and I'm just going to rely on the armor of my tank, right, and the gun. And it's mobility. I mean, that might seem strange for someone that's got no turret. I mean, like if you've ever had a sore neck, you know how um, one maneuver you are, and that's what tank killers like, isn't it? It's like a tank, it's like you having a sore neck, right? You can't turn around, around like that. And you imagine if you're in a boxing match and you've got a brace in your neck or something like that. Well, then you're gonna really fucked, aren't you? But imagine you don't have that uh, neck brace, but you're also wearing a big fuck off bit evil suit of armor, well, uh, and a helmet. That's kind of what the heads are like here. So. Uh, yeah, so I, I was just causing all sorts of havoc there, wasn't he? I mean, like, you know, all sorts of havoc. And, uh, you know, I got myself into a bit of a fix there. It wasn't the, wasn't the brightest to play there. But, I mean, there was guys behind me who knew that. Plus, I would have been able to maneuver and get him anyway. Just rely on the armor and that, you know, I would have got me out of that situation. So, yeah, so we did really well there, didn't we? And um, I think by being really aggressive and pushing straight into them and farming that damage, I... Um, I was able to I was able to manipulate that game quite a bit I think. Uh, now this uh, looks here he needs help because um, the SU is also a very fast uh, tank destroyer and the looks is like I mean, he's hanging on to life isn't he? I mean, he's hanging on to dear life. I mean like if he was an American state he'd be Florida in the God's waiting room there and he wants to got like, a few XP, a few HP left. So anyways uh, so I just come up here and I just roll it in here like a big fuck off wanker with a sword in a medieval fucking suit 
and I just say have have that go fuck yourself you know so fuck all you can do there I was just rolling like it like it was just a slow march of death wasn't it so yeah, so that you see that's a different type of play which you can do with that sir, but you can also farm the damage from the back as, as I did, particularly if you go up here to farm the damage from the back as I did in the, in the previous game. But when needs be, the Hatcher, you know, can drive forward and uh, use your armor and all that, you know, and cause all sorts. Of yeah, the first piece is there. You go. Hope she's enjoyed yeah. it and all that. By hand. By the way, the music's there. The music's there. Yeah. Off you have, uh, Romeo and Juliet, sweet, isn't it? Uh, Montagues and Capulets. All right, take care, lovers. See you now. Bye, bye.